you're doing very well. Congratulations on your gold medal in Vegas. Thank you very much, cheers, man. What did you drink that night? Uh, not too much that night. I had a really the next day, but we went out the night after and we had a few drinks, so it's good, yeah. It says here that 550 athletes are competing in all 26 sports as part of Team B. Yeah. Team GB next year. What are you going to do to stand out from the crowd? Oh, well, I'll hopefully be one of the, one of the few who comes away with the gold medal. That's what I'll be aiming for, really. Um, yeah. No other sort of tricks or surprises or anything to show off. I'll just try and get on with business as usual. And if I train hard, then uh, I should come away with the right result, I think. A word, a word about your coach, because I don't know how much he's contributed yeah, to your success yeah. so far. How much has uh, yeah. this year meant to him as well as you? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, he's such a great athlete in the past he has, but he, he does enjoy working with me, and I enjoy working with him very much. So. You know, when I compete in the track, I compete on his behalf as well, and um, you know, I'm happy to do his training and his methods justice. Really. Congratulations! All right, how are you doing? Congratulations on your silver in Vegas. Oh, what did you have to drink to celebrate? Um, I'm not sure. Not very much. We went out one night. I didn't go out straight afterwards. No. <laughs> I think we had Bailey's. Have you been on holiday since? Um, time no, to I haven't. I was still okay. racing, but so um, I've, I've just been chilling out. So no, no downtime away from the UK. No, no. I wanted to be at home really, I've been away for so many months, it's nice to be home. So you're going to enjoy tonight then, I yes. take it, yeah? Looking forward to it. So how do, the plans, how do you plan for next season from now? Um, just keep training hard and keep focused and keep being a professional athlete and hopefully it'll just all fall into place. Another silver or gold? Well, whatever they'll do, yeah, whatever I can get. Good luck with that, yeah. Thank you. All right. How are you? You well? Yeah. You're very well, very well. Tell me about the importance of uh, events like tonight. Very important. We've got to raise funds to really more or less make sure that the athletes are comfortable um, who go to the games. That's one of the most important things. Not just in the village, but training camps. Um, you know, uh, just to make sure that they, they, when they go to that competition, they've had every help that is necessary. Because that's what's important now. The Olympic Games are different, very, very different from any other competition. It's the greatest show on earth, sporting show on earth. So, you know, and, and so if the preparation is not right, then there's problems. So this is why we've got our funds like this, that functions like this to raise more money. I know you're a BOA ambassador. How have you settled into the role and what have you been up to? Um, well, actually, we've been to some of the um, testing events as well, which has been good. There's a lot more things that we're going to be doing. There's going to be campaigns sort of like to make people aware that, you know, the games is happening. I've been into schools, all that sort of thing. But also, you know, I'm, a lot of the things that I've done for BOA, I'm doing for my own foundation anyway. Yeah, tell us, tell us about the foundation. Well, the Tessa Sanderson Foundation is my charity and what that does is that I engage special sports coaches to come in and monitor and nurture youngsters. And I've got a couple that, hey, that's on the way, might get to 2012, but if not, watch out Brazil, they're going to be there. Give us the scoop. Make sure. Global Sport in Colour. A what? Make sure you give Global Sport in Colour the scoop first. Oh, <laughs> get out. <laughs> what, are you, what are you most looking forward to about next year? What events? I think there'll be some, that, that, God, there's so many spectacular things that, that, that I'm looking forward to. The 100 meter dash, of course, because I, I wasn't in Beijing, so I didn't see um, Usain run, and I, I know the athlete very well as such. Um, I think the, the aquatic centre, I've already had a go at swimming in that, and that was quite nice. Um, there'll be a plethora of things, I think. The basketball, yeah, that's looking good, but I think the, 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 the main thing that I'm looking forward to is see the Olympic Village come to life. And that will be a big buzz. Hope you enjoy. Thank All right, you. then I will. Thank you guys.